most southerly part of Scotland at the Mulla Galloway. I'm John Ross, born and brought up in this part of Scotland and for nine years I had the privilege of being a commissioner with the Northern Lighthouse Board. And today I have with me uh, Dr Barry Miller, uh, someone who taught in local secondary schools, taught science for a number of years, also did some scientific research and when he retired he took on the role of retained lighthouse keeper. Barry, what does that involve? Uh, well, I've been doing it for just on 20 years, John. I, I do first line maintenance on the lighthouses in Ayrshire and Galloway. Uh, there's about 10 lighthouses involved. So I'm out uh, about 50% 50, 50 of days, I suppose. And I, I'm on, on call 24-7, so it's, I'm relatively busy. There's so you know, the, you know the area well? I know, well, like yourself, I'm actually from the area, yeah. so yes, I know the area extremely well. Yes. But we're, right, we're here at the Mulligalloway Lighthouse. It's a, it's a splendid example of, of a lighthouse. Can yes. you tell us a bit about the history and what happens uh, here? I can, yeah. Well, this is a fairly old lighthouse. I think it was opened in 1830. Uh, like all lighthouses now, it operates on electricity. Originally, it would have operated on sparingly oil. Uh, this is one of about half a dozen lighthouses that the Northern Lighthouse Board has opened to the public. Right. And I believe you were a commissioner at the time that the sale was uh, put through. Is, uh, is, is that I, I was indeed. Yeah. Uh, I was a commissioner, and because uh, it's the marine, uh, it's the marine industry that pays for that's correct. the lights. Yes, yes. Anything that surplus has yes. had to be sold off. Yes. Yes. But yes. fortunately, it coincided with a period when this part of Wittenshire. Uh, got some funding together uh -huh. to to restore their tourism after the foot and mouth outbreak, right, right. and they were able to put a bid yes, in yes. to buy the redundant property. I was actually on the board at that time, and I did my yes. very best. Right, right. No, it's 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 very good. No, yeah. we have about half a dozen that are open to the public. Our fun in fact, our one and only function is really to provide reliable marine navigation leads around the Scottish and the Isle of Man coasts. But nonetheless, we realise that we're custodians of some wonderful buildings. We have a close on 200 lighthouses, almost all of which are listed buildings. Very many are in the top category of listing, of listing as being buildings of national importance. So we, re we absolutely very much appreciate that and you can see from the condition of the buildings that we look after the buildings as well as we can, as well as we can. And where we are able to operate with a local group such as here, we'll put in a huge amount of time and effort to ensure that we give as much support as we possibly can. And th th this has certainly been a big success as far as the Northern And I know that on this project we're looking at a number of, of uh, lighthouses. Yes. And I would have to say that this is the jewel in the crown because it's fairly accessible. Yes, yes. Uh, there are facilities here mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that visitors can enjoy yes, a yes, trip here. Yes, yes. Whereas some of the other lighthouses yes. are not quite well, accessible. <laughs> in actual fact, you can only drive on the mainland to about a third of our lighthouses. Yes. The rest are on islands, right enough, you can drive to them. And other mainland lighthouses, you have to walk across moorland, field along cliff edges, and some, of course, are on rocks. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it's relatively accessible. But we, we are here today. It's, it's, the weather's not ideal, no. but on a clear day, you can see Scotland. Yes. You can see England. That's correct. You yes. can see the Isle of Man. Yes. And you can see Ireland. Ireland, indeed, you can. Yes. And there are yes. others who yes. would say you can also see the Kingdom of Heaven. That's so, right. That's not, right. not, not, not a bad view from <laughs> no, no, Iran. no, no, no. You can certainly see a lot from, from this this point. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to mention that you mentioned the weather there. Yeah. Obviously, it's a very windy day, and there's been a lot of power outages in the Shire uh, this overnight. Yes. Not here, in actual fact. I was just going to say that uh, it's perhaps not appreciated that the lighthouses which are on mains nonetheless run on batteries. So we have to have a backup whereby the light can run for at least 30 hours on battery supply should the mains power be interrupted. And with terms of power interruption, lighthouses are always at the very, very end of the line. Yes. So if anybody's going to get a power cut, it's us. Hence, hence we actually run them on, on, on big bank, banks of batteries. Right. Yeah. Uh, and of course nowadays I understand that um, 
a number of particularly rock stations are now run on solar power. Well, our eventual aim, and we're working through our lighthouses, our eventual aim is to run them all on solar power and not be reliant on, them, on the grid at all. So, in the meantime, we've concentrated on rock stations and island stations, and I would say they're almost all done. We've done a few on the mainland to date, but within a few years we should have them all on solar panels and we're obviously moving towards LED lighting as well so there's there's less power consumption. You, you so were saying, that, I think that's the yeah, way forward, yes. You were saying it's over 200 years since this light was built. It's yes. quite interesting, I noticed on my way yes. down. Not quite in actual fact, no, it was 1830, 1830 so we're not quite on not the 200, quite but almost. But what was interesting, uh, there's a, a bay just a, small distance yes, north of yes, here. Yes. Can you say why that's, there's a harbour there? Ah, right. the, 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 that was the supply for, for the lighthouse keepers, so their supplies would come in here. The lighthouse keepers would be more or less self-sufficient, they would have their own cattle, they would have a milk supply, they would grow their own veg, coal would be supplied, so the supplies would come in by boat right. for the keepers. Right, yeah. and would that also be used when they were building the... Uh, I, I, I imagine it would have been John, yes. but I'm not sure about that. Certainly that, that, that little uh, jetty is the property of the Northern Lighthouse Board, it's, as, is the wee, as is the wee house which, oh, well, which is beside it. So, yes, yes, so, yeah. so we have these wee bits and pieces all over the country. Yes. Uh, you, you're saying about power supply, I mean, when you look at it here, although it's a mains power supply, yes. we're about, what, five miles from the village of Dromore? We are, yes, we uh, are. So, yes. you know, it, yes. although it's mainland, it is still quite remote. That's right, that's right. In fact, as I say, without exception, <laughs> they're quite remote, that, yes. I would say. Yeah. yeah. And the interesting thing is that where we're standing, we can see the helipad. Mm -hmm. And, of course, that uh, that's a relatively... A recent addition to the Northern Lighthouse Board's indeed, uh, indeed, abilities yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. to... It's not so long since I had to have a generator uh, brought in by helicopter to Corsville. Oh yes. Uh, about six or seven years ago there was a heavy snowstorm here and uh, the power was out everywhere and Corsville was out for six days and they brought in a generator by helicopter to a similar helipad. A similar to that. helipad, yeah. yep. So, um, <laughs> I think the other, uh, I, I know that uh, one of your colleagues here will be speaking about, but this is one of two, only two lighthouses left where, although the foghorn is not now reckoned yeah. uh, mm -hmm. needed for yeah. navigational mm -hmm. purposes, no, no. Uh, this, this, yes. uh, Mulla Galloway and Sumber Ahead in Shetland are the only two lighthouses where the foghorns right. have right. been restored yeah. and can yeah. be yeah. put the, on. Yeah, the foghorns were introduced from about 1890, as soon as you know they were effective diesel engines. Uh, and uh, most of the main stations had foghorns. The last ones were dis discontinued in 2004. Right. But luckily, the equipment wasn't stripped out of the lighthouse, and most of them it was taken away and sold yeah. on and used for other purposes. But here it was just left. Yeah. And it's, we're very lucky indeed that the group here have managed to restore that equipment on, and get it working well, again. On one occasion, I spoke to a, a, a mariner and asked him, you know, why the, the, the fog horns were shut down, and he explained to me that uh, with the size of cargo ships and cruise ships. By the time you heard the foghorn, it was too late That's to take right. any corrective action. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. No, I think they were certainly useful in the day, but I think those days are, yeah. are, are, are past. <laughs> and it was, it was a very special occasion when the foghorn was yes. commissioned, yes. recommissioned here, and I remember yes. Yes. Uh, the lifeboat from Port Patrick and mm -hmm. the, the small yeah. one from yeah. uh, further south, they came up and uh, the, yeah. the the horn blew, and yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a, a, a very yeah. special, yeah. A very yeah. special yeah. occasion. The keepers used to light the, set the horn going when they couldn't see the scar rocks, the oh, rocks yes. across there. That that was the signal. That was the signal. Was, if the scar rocks were out of sight, it started the fog horn. Ah, good, good. And of course, like other lighthouses, there would be th three keepers here. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Yes, three. Yes. Yeah. Well, they had to have an extra one because of the foghorn in Ah, uh, yes. So they had to somebody had to have someone who was mechanically qualified to look after the diesel engines. And, uh, and of course, yeah. the children, uh, the lighthouse keepers, they would have to go the five miles. That's to, right. To the uh, school. school. Indeed, they would. Yeah, they would. Yes. 